Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Shinty, and this is my Banjo Tui Let's Play Part 10. And I am now going. Wow, that's stupid me. I forgot I need to talk to Wumba. You have Globo, want to give to Wumba? Yes, I do. <coughs> sure, I'll just throw it in. Yes. Magic ready, jump in Wumba pool. Okay. So, oh, I wonder what we're going to transform into this time. And um, transform into a dynamite exploder. Wombo, call this detonator. Use control stick to move and press B for self-destruct attack. Yeah, uh, this guy isn't that good. Because, well, you press B to do your self-destruct attack, it hurts you. I am not kidding. But... The superpower of this thing is you just slowly walk up to there, get as close to it as possible, and then you'll automatically go to that um, fuse and explode whatever it is you want him to explode. So, if you explode that right next to Wombas, it opens up. <gasps> this is for Banjo Kazooie, so I am not going to do it until I've got Banjo Kazooie left back anyway. So, um, the next thing is. Oh, yeah, you can swim with it. You, it's not as if you can't swim or anything with the uh, dynamite. Well, detonator. I need to get to start calling it detonator because that's what it is. It is a detonator. Right, come over here next to the mine uh, thing. And why is there always an enemy near one of these? Right, blow this up. And this is just the entrance, the, bonus, the second entrance to the flooded caverns. So instead of having to jump and try and land that really hard jump, you can instead just go there and explode it with the detonator. And I believe there's another one over here. Oh yeah, Jiggy, that's not till later. Much, much later. So, I believe this is another one, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Can you tell me, please? Uh, not really, but... No, this is also for later. Okay. I'm on a good lucky streak, aren't I? Um, okay. There's one more thing I can remember doing as the detonator. I just cannot remember where it is. <sighs> That's why I'm saying this is a let's play, not a walkthrough. Because if it was a walkthrough, I'd know where everything is. I'd, I'd just, I wouldn't need to, like, look around for stuff. I'd just automatically know where it is. But I'm not that good at this game. As I've said in multiple videos. But yeah, I actually re re realised what part this video was. If you noticed, I said it was actually part 10. I'm proud of myself for that. I actually realised what video it is. It's nothing to do with the fact that I had to take off all the videos I've just put on, well, I've just recorded onto my laptop. No, it's nothing to do with that, because, well, yeah, I named them, and I saw what episode I haven't recorded yet. But no, it's because of my careful thinking. <laughs> sure, me, careful thinking. Oh, anyway, it's the middle of summer holidays. I'm not expected to think. No, I think it's down here, is it? Please tell me it's down here. Mine entrance three. Please, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? No, this is the gloomy caverns! Another reason why I hate this level. That bit is actually kind of fun, that bit just there. It's the other bit, which is over here, which is a pain. Can I actually see that's not a self destructive attack? Yes! Oh, this is actually an area for the detonator, so it's a good th No, it's not. This is not an area for the detonator. It's up here that the detonator is actually for, well, useful. So, come up here. Yeah, again, use your detonation attack. Um, I'm going to die before a lot of you if I'm not careful. So, alright. So, destroy this door, because if you see the door's locked... So, bam, all that just for, well, a huge stick of TNT, just for a door to be unlocked. Can you got the keys? Okay, this is really annoying, because you bounce around and with an enemy in here, and you're trying to get into the door. Oh, there we go, Ginjo. You can technically do it as Banjo and Kazooie, but I prefer just saving time and doing it as the detonator. Even though it is really annoying. No, 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 don't get me, don't get me. Yeah, enemy didn't get me. Come on, come on, thank you. Okay, so now I've got to work out where the final thing is, because I thought I knew where it was, but... Me! Oh, 
wait, are you kidding me? I actually can, I can go through there and I'm not even going to answer. You've got to destroy that block to go um, into that area from that entrance, but the other entrance, oh no, you can just get out easily. You can go through a block, surely. <sighs> Nintendo logic. Anyway, on a Rare logic actually, because this was this game was produced by Rare. Nintendo was just the ones who um, who, who well, it was on a Nintendo system, but Rare actually produced the game. Oh, this is gonna be hard swimming against the current. So hard. Come on, thank you. Yeah, it's easy really. As well, nothing's really that hard in this game, except the final boss. That is hell. But. Other than that, nothing's that hard in this game. And what am I doing here? I've already been here. Alright, this episode is going to be purely the detonator, isn't it? Because I'm going to have to try and find this damn thing. Ugh. You may have guessed, it really annoys me when I don't know where something is on a game. Ah, fuel storage. Surely this is it. Please tell me this is it. Please. It's the last place I haven't explored. Yes! Yes! Wow. All the other areas for the detonator is an area with a small door. This door, this door was massive. You could get in it easily. Oh no, I missed that one out. Bleep! I'm trapped in this mine by that blood tunnel. Bleep! All right. Yeah, again, just do it the same. It may be hard to see, but there is actually a, a fuse there for the TNT. Blow that up and see the mysterious box which is somehow floating glide through the door yeah there's nothing re weird about that it's just a flying box no it's what's inside it which is flying but anyway we don't need to know that just yet do we actually really even if you haven't played this game before you should know what's in it anyway because it speaks to you and shows what's actually inside it but anyway try go through there humber magic not work if go through there only bear and bird can leave. Yeah, that's basically what sh um, shows up if you try and exit the level through even the main entrance. You can't actually enter exit this level with um, Humber, though, because, of course, TNT can't climb the rope, so pretty cool that it blocks you like that, even. Anyway, seven minutes into this video. Maybe it won't be a whole video on just the detonator, because I'm basically done as the detonator now. And I'm glad I've got that out of the way, because I was actually dreading having to do the detonator bit, because I can't ever remember where everything is. But I actually did for a change. That's good, I'm improving on this game. Now I've said that, my, my look's going to be really bad, isn't it, for the rest of this game. Sheesh. Alright, uh, jump back in the pool, and... Transform into a bear? We've never been a bear before. <laughs> okay. That was kind of random even on my part. So, um, come down here, and this was the first TNT thing we blew up, so... Oh yeah, that uh, box, flying box thing, you can't actually go through that door even as banjo three just yet. So, uh, over here, I need you to help me out of this frightful predicament. Who might, who might you be? I'm Canary Mary. They used to send me down those mines to check for gas. If I died, they'd know it wasn't safe. Nice, I can think of more pleasant jobs. They just let me in here. I don't think I will last much longer. Don't worry. I'll get Kazooie here to smash the cage open. If I must. Like, as I was saying, that um thing, that flying box, you can't actually go through that and exit because it's to another world, which you can't actually... You need to unlock from the other side, basically. Woohoo! I'm free! It's moons like this that make adventuring worthwhile. But she hasn't even got a jiggy. No! Come back here! I'll get Kazoo to fire a grenade egg. Oh, sorry, sequence breaking. Um, yeah. Sorry about that. Um, okay. Glitter. Gulch. Mine. Back in here with Canary Mary. Come on. Fly faster, you dumb bird. Alright, there's actually some truth about Canary Mary in real life. Because, um, World War Two, the... They actually got women to make bombs and things like that, and because of what happened, their hair actually turned yellow. 
So it has actually got some truth in it that, even though it's not exactly about a mine. But then again, actually, it's like, um, it's the gases which were in the bombs and things like that which actually made the hair go yellow. So I suppose it's some truth. But still, anyway, um, just come over here. And I'm just going to have time to do this because I've got five minutes left. But there's actually a mini game with Canary Mary that you can do. Not sure whether I'll fit both mini games in, but anyway. Hey there, Canary Mary. Why are you still around? Ew, my wings are still a bit little stiff for spending so long in that cage. How about a race down to stretch them? On this old hunk cart, I'm sure it's broken well last, so at last. It was. I fixed it and put it back on track. You're pretty resourceful for an old bird, aren't you? I like to try. Jump aboard if you fancy you go. Sounds like fun. What do we do? Simply tap A as fast as you can to drive the handcart along. Yeah, this is actually a really easy mini game. Just press A as fast as you can. Oh god. Ready? Three, two, one, go! I actually forgot about this. When I agreed to do this game, I forgot about the one mini game that. Oh yeah, I'm tapping A as hard as I can so you may hear me tapping. But um, I forgot about the one mini game I'm actually dreading with doing this. Let's just say I'm going to probably have so many outtakes of that thing, it's going to get boring editing it. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to spoil what it is. Anyone who's played this game probably knows what it is, considering I brought it up at this time. So, yeah. Anyway, I believe you actually get the Jinjo doing this mini game if you haven't collected it yet. So, yeah, easy way to get the Jinjo, I think. Can't remember whether you get it or not. Oh god, if I'm going this slow on this mini game, imagine the next mini game. Ugh. Seriously, I'm actually going pretty slow compared to normal in this one. I'm used to going a lot faster than this. Alright. Pretty easy race. Nothing too hard. And all oh, she's actually catching up to me. There we go. And I did that in almost two minutes. Good, good. So I'll have time for the next race then. Only just enough time though. Depends how much time she takes talking. I think we beat you there, Mary. Well, I guess you can have this shiny thing I found before I got locked in that cage. Isn't it a, is it a jiggy? I can't remember what it is. It's been under my wing for days. Ew, I'm not sure we want it in that case. Yes, a jiggy has been under her wing for days. That was fine, race. Sure was. My wings are starting to feel better. How about racing back again? Hop on the cats if you think you can beat me again. So, yeah. We've got Jiggy. 13 Jiggies. And time for the final race. Actually, no. No, can I pause this real quickly? Ready? 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, I can pause it. Okay. That's going to happen next time because I do not think I'd have enough time. And if I do, it'll be very close. So, I bid you all farewell. Bye.